shopping. Some things are easier to find than others. The president says he has a plan that he hopes will get the supply chain moving quicker by the end of this year. WXI 12's Justin Schreer asked an expert if he thinks it'll help and how long it'll take before people like you and I see an impact. In an announcement Wednesday, President Joe Biden says the Port of Los Angeles will begin operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The port saw more than 9 million containers come through in 2020. The Port of Los Angeles will open over 60 extra hours a week will be open. In total, that will almost double the number of hours that the port is open for business from earlier this year. That means an increase in the hours for workers to be moving cargo off ships onto trucks and rail cars to get to their destination. The president says Walmart is going to be moving its products 24-7 from ports to stores nationwide, and shipping companies like FedEx and UPS have committed to significantly increasing the amount of goods they will move at night. Professor of Operations and Supply Chain Management Harash Granani says small changes can make a difference. Small changes are able to bring about a substantial improvement, which means if, even if you are able to increase capacity by a, a small percentage, uh, you would see a meaningful difference in the performance, the, the transit times, the unloading times. But he says while some companies are working to replenish items faster, it may come at a higher cost to them, which could translate to higher prices in stores for you, the consumer. Uh, they have to uh, adopt strategies which are not necessarily preferred by them. But in order to replenish inventory faster, they are forced to adopt those changes, which come at a cost. And consequently, we see higher prices at the grocery stores, at the departmental stores. Granani says as we approach the holidays, it is an incentive for retailers to try their best to make sure stores have items. But he says the two categories where there will be a foreseeable shortage, at least through the spring, will be with electronics and automobiles. Small changes are going to bring about substantial improvements. So we can look for things to get better. And once they start to get better, the speed at which things will improve is really going to surprise us. And that was Justin Schreer reporting. The professor says not to panic. If you find an item and the price is not excessively high, he recommends buying it now instead of waiting until the holidays.